What's happening, everybody? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes, and welcome to the Netlify CMS and Gatsby tutorial. We're going to start from the bare bones, start with our Gatsby starter, and work our way all the way up to enabling using Netlify CMS in a Gatsby project. I have a finished project right here with Las Vegas, Lima, Peru, and New York, and Venice at the bottom. I want to change these travel dates for just an example in Las Vegas. I can go to the content manager, make sure I refresh the page, it's all set to go. And this is all built into Netlify CMS. So if I want to say not August, but we're going to be in Las Vegas for a long time, I'm going to save this, publish it, and through the power of Netlify, you come back down over here, and refresh the page, it should show that it's updating travel packages Las Vegas. And using the power of Netlify, what's going to happen is that's going to push the data from Netlify CMS over to my public facing Netlify page. So if we give it one more second, hopefully it's going to go through. And just like magic, we have a successfully pushed up version of this project. If I refresh the page, we've now going to spend an extra month inside of Las Vegas and it's changed to July. This is a multi-week, multi-step process, so don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the whole entire project. And with that, let's get started. All right, so to get started, I'm going to use the Gatsby Starter default template. Now, why I like using this is because it already has a lot of the plugins that I want to use already built in. So instead of having to go one by one and install them, I'm just going to use this template and take out a few of their extra little demo pieces that I'm not exactly loving in their design. So I'm going to copy and paste this GitHub repo. I'm going to come over here and say NPX Gatsby new, and this one's going to be 179 Netlify CMS and Gatsby. And I'll paste it right in. And what I'm also going to do along with bringing this repo in is I'm going to also install the React Bootstrap. Now, if you've watched my channel before, you've seen countless videos of both Bootstrap and React Bootstrap, as I am a gigantic fan of the React Bootslap, Bootslap, Bootstrap and the overall vanilla Bootstrap interface. So I have to go back and forth on occasion. If you want more videos on Bootstrap, you can check out my video library in my channel. And we should be pretty much good to go. Give it a few seconds more to install. I thought this would go faster, but there we go. So I'm going to copy and paste this NPM right here, go into 179, drop it in and paste it in. And it should take a few seconds. Hopefully we're almost there. While we're waiting, I'm going to grab the folder of 179 looking good right here. And what I have here is if I go in and I say Gatsby develop, what I should get, I'm going to close Safari for a second and bring open Chrome, kind of like a switcheroo in effect right here. And welcome to Gatsby. Should be running any second now. I'm going to refresh this page. This is from a legacy local host. Always takes a few seconds longer on the first run. We should be looking pretty good. Refresh the page. Perfect. So what I'm going to do here is in the source folder, I'm going to then go by name. I'm going to create a new folder called CSS, where I'm going to put my global design or my custom as I like to call it. So what I'm going to do is go into components and go into layout and drop the layout in here. Move this up a little bit higher, move this up a little bit higher right there. And in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this layout. You want to see something fun, take it out and whoa, it all goes back to old fashioned HTML with no CSS. So what I have to do is I realize that I closed my Safari browser. It's back right here. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to copy the CSS from React Bootstrap. I'm going to drop this in and now I can then minimize this all over again. And what I'll do is I'll drop this in and now it turns into there it goes, a bootstrap version. Now I do want to bring in a custom CSS. So I'm going to say new file and I'll say custom.css and I'll go into the CSS folder and drop in custom. Now what I'll do is I'll say body background color purple. And just so I know it's always linked up, what I'll do is I will say import and I'll go outside the folder 
and I'll go into my CSS folder and say custom. All that purple does, perfect, it works. Just to make sure that custom CSS file works with my layout, it does, so I can take out the body, and I'm back to square one. Just because I don't need everything else in this design, what I'm gonna do is inside this layout folder, I can take out this div, since I don't need it, and I can take out the bottom div as well, and then I'll just scoot in the main and the footer. So what I have now is something even a little more just basic. I haven't gone all the way out yet, but it eventually will change the way it looks. And in here as well, I'm gonna take out all this content inside of my index file, so I'm all prepped to go on a pretty basic level when it comes to Gatsby.js. I can also take out this layout CSS. I can't take out that module yet. So I'm gonna go into pages and in here, I'm gonna to go to the index. And from here, I will just take out all this extra that I do not need and take this all out. So all I'm left with is just, I'm gonna say, hello world. Ha, ah, and it looks pretty much empty. That's all I want to really have going forward in this project. So I just want a blank canvas to work in. Again, the power of this Gatsby template, if we head over, and I can take a couple things out. TypeScript, you're gone. Using SSR, you're gone. Templates, you're gone. And then we can also go into the Gatsby node and take out this link to the DSG. And now it's gone as well. And we can take out one more thing for fun, source, components, and just so we have a really, really clean layout file so nothing really gets in the way. And again, the reason why I did all this, this is kind of my way of doing things, is because the Gatsby config is already configured for me to use it. So if I scroll down, we have our file system, we have our sharps, We've got our plugin sharp, we've got our manifest, everything's kind of there for us to use out of the get-go. Instead of having to build this manually, I just took out a few design components and I'm really where I wanna be. Now we're all set to go in this project. So what we wanna do is we wanna then put this little project up on Netlify.